So Celine Dion has stiff person syndrome, and that's a super rare condition. It affects about one in a million, and women are about twice as likely as men to have it. Now, the actual cause isn't very clear. It seems to be what we call an autoimmune condition, which means our immune cells, which normally protect us from disease, come in and attack certain parts of our body, causing damage. Now, in about 80% of patients, it seems to be attacking a particular protein called glutamic acid decarboxylase, which essentially affects how our inhibitory neurons function. So hear me out for a second here. So we have brain cells that are excitatory, which means they tend to switch on the function of a body part, like switch on your muscles um, and makes them contract. And we have inhibitory ones, which tend to do the opposite and they tune it down. Now, we need a balance of both. So a person with stiff person syndrome will tend to have less of this inhibitory function so less of this keeping things in check, and you end up with hyper-excitable neurons, especially the ones that control our skeletal muscles. So this means it sends signals to our muscles and you know it says, hey, switch on, contract. And this is a problem because we actually need to have a perfect balance of switching them on and switching them off. So contraction and relaxation, if you want to do things like walk, for example. So let's think about when you're taking a step forward. Um, the muscles on the front of your leg, they need to contract. They'll be really tight, right? And then the ones on the opposite side, they'll be relaxed and, and um, quite, yeah, very relaxed. So it, that allows you to bend your leg and to move, right? So imagine your muscles are contracting on both sides, on the front of the leg and the back of the leg, and that's going to cause it to cramp up, right? It's going to be super tight. And you wouldn't be able to walk properly, would you? Like, it, it just becomes so incredibly tight and painful. It's like this, just this intense cramp that won't go away. So we have these skeletal muscles all over our body. So it mightn't just affect your walking. It might affect your posture. Uh, it might affect your ability to swallow or to speak or in Celine's case, to sing. And, you know, like, just like tuning a guitar string is going to adjust its pitch. Um, if you've ever seen anyone, you know, tweak a guitar string, it's going to make it go a bit, you know, a bit higher pitched or a bit lower changing tension in the vocal folds will do the same thing. Um, it's just in the case of vocal folds, um, increased tension uh, is going to actually cause your pitch to lower. And it's going to do that whether you like it or not. So given that, you know, Celine has this exquisite ability to control her um, vocal pitch, this is going to be quite, you know, quite devastating for her to not be able to control it in the way that she's used to. Now, we know that these inhibitory neurons that aren't working the same way. They don't seem to work as well um, in, a, in, in the muscles, but they're also affecting things like how we feel. So they help us to feel more calm when we're anxious. And they also help us control things like our fear and our response to stress. So people with this condition, um, they might be more prone to anxiety, you know, and in fact, stress and anxiety tend to make the symptoms flare up a bit as well.